This is video number three, how to repair solar panel for solar heater. Welcome my friends to our channel. We are returning with a very important new video. We hope you enjoy it. For several years we had a water pressure problem that was giving us a headache. Apparently a solar panel had a water leak and it was in bad shape. Today we are refurbishing our water heater. The manufacturing company told us that they do not repair the panels. Inclusively, we were told that we had to buy a new one for $1,500. We refused this proposal and decided to do it ourselves. And we saved ourselves $1,500, dollars, dollars, dollars. is outside and connected to the water hose and we're checking for water leaks. The water hose is attached to the panel and it has a great water pressure. Now he's looking for any water leaks in the connections and also in the panel. But everything looks fine. Why is that? What's going on? Well, I didn't find any leaks. The panel is not leaking. That is terrific. 15 year old panel and it looks like new. Wow, I love it. He's checking from a different angle. That water hose has a strong water pressure. The panel is free of leaks and now it's ready to go home. Here he is disconnecting the plug to release the water pressure inside the radiator. Look at that pressure inside the radiator. Okay, we're ready to paint the panel black because black attracts and holds the heat much better. Have fun painting it and enjoy. Come on, give me some rhythm, baby. Yeah, that's the way. Have fun. It only took a can of paint to paint the front of the panel. Sometime soon it will be done. There he goes, Speedy Gonzalez. Come on, baby, you can do it. You're almost there, sweetheart. Keep going. Okay folks, now we need to put the radiator back into the house. Here he goes. 
nicely done, well painted. Alright, now it's molding time. Let's put it back in place. These corners must be leveled or even to each other. It's looking very good, guys. Let's continue. Now we're going to connect new adapters for the new connection. At this point, we're going to use three universal unions and a plug for the panel blade. You can see the universal unions in place. The panels look great. Look at the other universal unions. Wow, look at that. How nice the panel looks. The reason we are using universal unions is because it is easier to disconnect the panel in case of an emergency or just maintenance. The panel is now ready for the next step. Okay, as you can see, there are already three universal unions and a plug adapter. 